right, so it is now time to talk about yet another defunct Oakland professional sports team. This time it's the Oakland Oaks, uh, who were an ABA basketball team in the ABA, of course, for just two seasons, and they were founded in 1967. They were actually the first West Coast basketball team that was professional to win a championship. And, you know, despite only lasting two seasons, they still have a pretty iconic image. I mean, they wore green and gold like, you know, other teams that played in Oakland, such as, of course, the A's now and the Seals. And, I mean, I got this hat at Lids like a month ago. You know, they definitely have a image in, you know, the local community, despite only lasting for two seasons. And I think part of the reason for that is they had that very, very good season in 1968 through 69 they won the finals and um you know eventually they would you know change their branding and move out of oakland um later on but yeah they played in the aba which you know i guess you could compare the aba to the afl in a football scope they have teams that are currently in the nba now i mean one that comes to mind is the nets the nets started out as an aba team the indiana pacers started out as an aba team there were a couple that started out um, but yeah, the Oakland Oaks were, you know, definitely a pretty cool team, despite only being, you know, in Oakland for two seasons. They had Rick Barry on their team, um, and many, you know, know Rick Barry as a Warriors legend. He has his number retired by the Warriors. He's a Hall of Famer, and he, of course, won the 1975 Finals for the Warriors. And before that, he was sort of a local legend for playing on the Oakland Oaks, and that was pretty cool um, to see that. I mean, you know, in that 19 you know really the big turnaround was that first season they were of course founded in 1967 and they were pretty bad that first season winning 22 games out of you know seven, i believe it was 78 yeah they were 22 and 56 and then the next season they went 60 and 18 and won the finals pretty easily um which is definitely kind of cool to see that um but yeah you know rick berry was on them which was cool to see some of their players um you know gary brads they had um you know mostly kind of like under the radar players um, that, you know, aren't super well known, but I think Rick Barry would probably be the you know most well known one. And so, you know, they definitely struggled with finances. That was sort of a thing that, you know, was a thing back then for, for sports, you know, teams had to keep their finances up to survive. Um, and so, you know, they also had a major, you know, with the Rick Barry thing, an interesting thing they had was a big contract dispute with the then San Francisco Warriors um, with the rights to Rick Barry. Uh, because he was, of course, a great player. He was a rookie of the year. He led the Warriors to the NBA Finals in 1966-67. And, you know, he had frustrating things with contracts. So he then joined the Oaks and um, and they won the championship. So, you know, it was, I guess, good for him, right? Of course, we all knew him as, like I said earlier, he was a very iconic warrior. But that's just something that's interesting. They also had, um, you know, besides Rick Barry, they had Hall of Famer Larry Brown, who was a guard, he was inducted just in 2002, so 20 years ago, but he was on them for the two seasons they existed, um, or for 1968 through 69. And they also had a uh, coach, Alex Hannum, who was a Hall of Famer as well. So, you know, they weren't just a team that was forgotten. They had iconic players, um, and so that was interesting. In their finals, uh, you know, eventual finals win, they went on and they beat the Denver Rockets four to three in the first series. Then they won the division finals against the New Orleans Bucks 4 0, and they defeated the Indiana Pacers 4 1 in the finals. They had a 7 6 9 win percentage that year. It was great. Um, and so, yeah, let's kind of look, let's look at now, like what happened after they were in Oakland. So they moved to Washington and they became the Washington Capitals, um, which, you know, is kind of funny because, you know, they only lasted for one season. Uh, they were sold and moved for the 1969 through 1970 season. Um, and they were renamed the Caps or Capitals. Um, and um, yeah, they didn't really last there too long. They moved to Norfolk, Virginia, so not too far of a move. Um, and they became the Virginia Squires. And they actually lasted for a decent amount of seasons there. They disbanded after the 1975 through 76 season. Um, and uh, then there was the merger just weeks later that happened. And so that's kind of what, you know, I talk about. And I think it's cool to look at these leagues like the ABA or hockey, I believe is the WHA and or um, football, the AFL, because many people don't realize that these leagues like the ABA, they walked. So our professional leagues now like the NBA, NFL, MLB, NHL could run, right? I mean, these leagues are kind of the foundation. Um, and although they're sort of forgotten, 
in the eyes of many. I think it's really cool to look at these teams and say, well, they had Hall of Famers, they produced players, and the Oaks were one of them. I mean, Rick Barry, of course, is one of the most iconic Warriors ever. Um, and, you know, definitely it's, it's just something interesting like that. Um, like I said, you know, they moved to Virginia. They were the Virginia Squires. They didn't really succeed that well there. Um, but, you know, they, you know, it was definitely interesting. They made the playoffs while in Virginia. Um, but of course the merger happened, you know, in the seventies and they just, you know, that's kind of the thing that happened with these leagues. The, the bigger league would kind of, you know, just kind of intercept the other leagues. And so, yeah, overall in their history, the Oakland Oaks slash Caps slash Squires had six playoff appearances, one championship, um, and a 439 win percentage in their history. So, you know, they only lasted two years in Oakland, but like I said, I mean, they have a pretty iconic brand presence. If you're not in the Bay Area, you know, you probably have never heard of them, but if you are in the Bay Area, they sell these at Lids. You know, I got this at a local store. They're definitely cool for their branding. I mean, Oakland and green and gold, I, I've said this before, kind of goes together like peanut butter and jelly. Like it's the, it's the colors of the city and like the fact that they had sports that had that is cool. Um, and so, yeah, that's the Oakland Oaks basketball team. So let me know your thoughts. I'll see you guys later. And uh, yeah, see you later. Peace out.